Hey, good morning, and welcome back to the book of Malachi. Today we're in chapter 3. We're going to read the verse, verse 5 this morning, and then we're going to talk about it. So let's read. And I will come near you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against sorcerers, against adulterers, against perjurers, against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans, and against those who turn away an alien because they do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. So this is a strong line here. It sounds like God's going to take us to court. Uh, but I guess if we read the other parts of the Bible, we'll find out that, yes, God does require uh, a righteousness, a justice in his people. Let's think about this line by line. And I will come near you for judgment. Now, we talked about God has a people at the end of time who are kind of like John the Baptist. They're kind of giving an Elijah message, Elijah-style message. John the Baptist told people, hey, Jesus is coming. Get ready. What do we do at the end of time? Christians at the end of time tell other people, Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. Okay? It's not, not super complicated. So what do we have here? Uh, he's calling his priests in the book of Malachi. We've been seeing this. He's calling the priests to account. They're, they're indifferent. They're acting awful. They're putting out the very wrong things about who God is and what, what his gospel is. And so here we have then this statement that he's going to send his messenger, then he's coming. We're looking at chapter 3, boom, 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 down through the chapter. We come finally then to this verse 5 we're looking at this morning. I will come near you for judgment. I will be a swift witness. So listen to who he's judging. Sorcerers, adulterers, perjurers, those who exploit wage earners, widows, and orphans, and those who turn away the alien. Why? Because they do not fear me. So the people who don't respect him, fear him, revere him, right, those people, whoever they are, and here's a partial list. I don't think this is the whole list, do you? But this is a list of people. And again, people who are professing to be his followers, and yet, and yet they're dabbling in sorcery or adultery. Some people do more than dabble in adultery. Perjurers and so on. God is calling us to come up higher. And notice all these things that were pretty much acceptable in that day. They became acceptable. It's okay if you... Uh, adulterate. It's okay if you tell the don't tell the truth. You perjure yourself. It's okay if you exploit wage earners. Hey, you know we're just trying to get the best deal, right? Uh, there's all these ways turning away an alien. Now, nobly, hopefully, none of you turned away an alien like a year or two ago when the middle of the COVID thing. A year ago, were you one of those people, one of those churches who were standing at the door and saying, "Sorry, you can't come in without a mask." I hope you weren't turning away people who might have come to hear about the gospel, hear about God's truth at that time. Can you find one occasion where Jesus turned away an alien? I'm still looking for that. Let me know when you find that. He's looking to include everybody who's willing to come to him and be transformed. Uh, it doesn't matter the haircut. It doesn't matter the shade of your skin. It doesn't matter your ethnicity. What matters is your heart. Are you willing to give it to him? Some people might think, well, I'm probably a not on this list, right? I'm not a sorcerer. I'm not a, uh, I don't beat up on widows and orphans. But maybe, what does it say again? Those who exploit widows and orphans. Well, maybe there's ways that sometimes that some of us have done something like that. We we haven't thought about it. We need to be thinking about our relations with other people, how we're treating and dealing with other people. Maybe we're not as clean and pure and as we think we are. We want then what? To fear God and give glory to him because, you know, the hour of his judgment has come. We read about that at Revelation 14, verse 6. That's part of the message we want to be giving in these last days. Let's pray together for his help. Dear Father in heaven, you will be not only standing in defense of your people who have been mistreated, treated unjustly and unfairly, but Lord, you are going to be a witness against those who have done evil and who have not repented. Bring to our, our attention, bring to our heart anything where we're guilty. Help us, Lord, to want to be transformed, to desire to be transformed, to ask to be forgiven and to ask to be transformed do this work for us, Lord. Help us to be ready for Jesus' return. And thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, friend, it's a pleasure to serve Jesus. Let's make sure we're really doing it. Maybe, maybe we're in that list somewhere that we don't want to be. Have a wonderful day in the service of our Lord, His Majesty Jesus.